All right, what's going on guys? It's no high here and in this video we're back with another Borderlands 3 video and in this one I want to talk about real quickly about the new uh, event that's going on here in Borderlands 3 starting today. So uh, pretty much this month, October 2000 in October 2009, 10 years ago, Borderlands 1 was first released and now all this month the Gearbox is going to be doing some uh, special stuff each week. So this week it's going to be bonus boss loot. Uh, next week will be rare spawn hunt. Week three will be show me the iridium. Week four will be mayhem on Twitch. And week five will be a spooky surprise. Now we don't know much about the other four, but the one this week we know that um, uh, most of the bosses in the game will have like uh, will drop more legendaries and stuff. That's basically what it's saying. And some of them have been added, like, increased chances to drop certain ones. And I'm going to go over that real quick. And keep in mind that I will be making a guide on each one of these. And that will be a little bit easier. Because most of these guns that they have as increased drops for these bosses are some of the legendaries that are, like, world drop only. That we found so far. We haven't found a drop for them. They're world drop only. But they gave them an increased chance to drop them in this little event. So let's go over them here. Mouthpiece has an increased chance to drop the Gatling Gun. Kilovolt has an increased chance to drop the Brainstormer. Gigamon has an increased chance to drop the Nagata. Katagawa Ball has an increased chance to drop the Rectifier. Katagawa has an increased chance to drop Legendary Class Mods for all Vault Hunters. Rampager has an increased chance to drop the Kilo Wisp. Warden has an increased chance to drop the Echo. Genevieve has an increased chance to drop the 10 gallon. Aurelia has an increased chance to drop the Creeping Death. Grave Ward has an increased chance to drop the Earworm. Pain and Ter Terror has an increased chance to drop the legendary class mods for all Vault Hunters. Troy has an increased chance to drop the Nova Burner. And Tyrene has an increased chance to drop the, well, I can't really say that word, but, you know, it starts with the letter B. Uh, so yeah, that is all of the, uh, increased drop chances for these guns. I'm pretty sure, every, I'm po almost pretty, uh, pretty positive here that all of these guns are normally world drop only, but during this week, they will have an increased chance to drop from these specific bosses. That'll make it a lot easier for me to make videos on these as well. So I'm going to make guides on each one of these guns. Hopefully I can... I'm going to start from the top and kind of go down. I'm probably going to start with the Gatling gun. And we're going to kind of make our way down. That way, in each video, I can mention that during this week, that they have an increased chance to drop from the specific boss. But yeah, that's all I have in today's video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.